Here we are for challenge four. Examine the code given to us. Try to make the calls variable equal to Jerry, Kramer, George, Elaine, with only a single invocation to the function Jerry. So here on line three, we have uh, the variable calls set to an empty string. And on line 24, we overwrite calls to, the be, re to be the result of Jerry uh, with calls passed into it. So here, let's we'll start with our pseudocode. We call Jerry, and in this function, we want to concat the string with Jerry. And then we want to return the invocation of the Kramer method. This will bring us down here to Kramer, where we will want to, again, concat the string with Kramer and return the invocation of George. Instead of George, we will concat the string with George and return the invocation of Elaine, of the Elaine method. And here in Elaine, it's our last method to be called. So we will concat the string with Elaine and then simply return that string in the final execution contest. So now we'll go back up here to Jerry and we'll actually code this in. We'll say str plus or equals Jerry and then return Kramer passing in the string. Downside Kramer, we will concatenate str with Kramer and then return George, the method passing in the updated string. This will bring us to George, in which case we will want to again concatenate on string. And return the invocation of the method of lane with the updated string. Finally, in here, we'll do our final addition to string. And then actually return it. So if we run this code, we're actually not going to see anything because we aren't console logging it. I'll go ahead and do that now. Console logging the updated calls. Jerry Kramer, George Lane, and if we check our answer, we're good to go.